I don't think Mustard is nearly as aggressive. I think Classic is just the most aggressive player I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little reckless and he'll admit to it. Oh, we got World um, Florida Looks start. like we're off here. Yeah, so we're going to be looking for that bridge and uh, looks like Pipes could potentially be helping us here. Maybe not. So they both played two different Hammer Brothers. Booba got a star and Mitch got a hammer, so... I don't know what it is, man. Mitch just seems to find hammers when he plays these seeds. Here we got the super tank stage. This is uh, nice and quick without that auto scroller. Yeah, these World 8 auto scrollers are much improved without the auto scroll, that's for sure. Yeah, if that auto scroller, that's usually the time to re chat and catch up with people and call your grandma, etc. Get more nervous because the hands are coming, or you just pass the hands and are going to the Bowser's Castle, yeah. So that is the fort because the lock didn't break there. So, uh, great decision by both runners, um, World 4 here. Booba's probably gonna do, yeah, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna do a screen transition skip there, so. All you gotta do is hold left when you do that screen transition. So it is worth noting that that hammer could be a big deal, uh, depending on what else happens throughout the seed. Um, I know Mitch isn't much of a believer in using it in World 6, unless it's very obvious. Um, but he does like to use it in World 2, and you know, most of the time it allows you at least skip one stage in World 2, and uh, potentially three or more, so... Yeah, Booba having a little struggle with Iggy, mostly because Iggy doesn't believe Hitbox exists, so... Kind of phases yeah, through Mario. Yeah, no. That man has no cares about hitboxes. Ludwig's the same way. Doesn't Wendy, care at all. Wendy's a little temperamental. Yeah, for sure. You almost want a thick Wendy. Like, you know, you like a thick Wendy because their hitbox is more consistent. And they're easier to get rid of. Yep, exactly. So yeah, uh, of course I mentioned that we got World 2 here and the lock's right there and the fort's required. So um, I didn't see any pipes though, so hammer looks like it's probably not actually useful here. No, there's a pipe um, basically where 2-3 is. Ooh, Mitch taking an unfortunate death there. Spinny wheel death guy. Yeah. Oh, man, those windmills. Oof. Sometimes they just grab you and, you know, can't get out of that gravity. Oh, see, I they both jumped through that little window. I'd take the top route. I don't trust that thing. Yeah, it's nice when you have P speed. It's pretty easy to make it through there. But if you don't have P speed, man, it's it's a risk. So now we got three. I think it's three two. If I'm not mistaken. That is correct. Um, Booba having a little trouble here. Um, really wanting that power up uh, for sure. Unfortunately, not going to be presented with it. Um, he tried to bounce off the, uh, the cheap cheeps there, but unfortunately missing that one a little bit. Yeah, I still think he um, he recovered really nicely there. Unfortunately, does lose a little bit of time there to Mitch, about four or five seconds, but. Still a close race. Yeah, these levels are kind of brutal right now, especially with the enemies that I, I'm seeing come out in 441 here. Um, really not allowing them to move very quickly through this one. Oh, Booba takes a death there to the hot foot. Yeah, it's it seems like the enemies just rarely cooperate in this one. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to stop when that one was walking towards him, just didn't have enough time to. And they get trolled with the star because, I mean, what you know, what would the seed be with, with having power-ups? It'd be easy, I tell you. Easy. I think Glassy was a little too easy, so now I feel like they're going to be a little harder. So Mitch using his hammer and cloud combo here to enter the World 2 airship. Yeah, he's definitely a believer of that. Uh, the basically a sure usage, another star. So he's definitely going to be a little frightened here um, after using the cloud. 
so he's probably gonna. Oh, and he gets a he gets a um, a thick Morton, so that's gonna help. Ooh. Although, yeah, you never you never want to take the low ground against a thick Koopaling, so uh, that's, that's kind of an opening here for Booba. Unfortunately, Booba did take a death to the giant hammer, bro. Let's find the chopper run though, so this should be pretty quick for him. Man, uh, I guess I, I curse them in that first seed. They're both having some trouble here, but a lot of it has to do with I, I can't, you know, stress this enough. When you're running through a seed like this and you're just not getting power ups, it's really tough to just stay on. Yeah, especially uh, Mitch here in the one five beta. He's got all those beetles that he's got to throw, and it's the enemy set stays the same, which is nice. But at the same time, that stage can be quite brutal. Yeah, and you see him with the backboard strat there, channeling his George Mikan. Yeah, so Booba didn't honestly lose all that much time because Mitch had those two deaths, one to Morton and one here in the 1-5 beta. So he's about half a stage behind. Although, um, Booba still has a cloud, I think, so um, it's pretty even in that in that regard then. I, th I think Booba tends to be a believer, and yeah, this is a much better strategy by Mitch to, to lead him out on the flat ground there. Because um, as I mentioned, man, it's really tough when you're at a, a level disadvantage with the, uh, the thick Koopalings. Yeah, the thick Koopalings, they, the, the hitboxes mostly behave on these guys, but sometimes with the nose, like and that's where Mitch ran into them, I feel like the face and the nose of the Koopaling, sometimes that hitbox sticks out a little further than what we see. So yeah, it looks like Boob is up a hammer and a cloud here, so um, that's going to be a potentially a very big, especially if we see a level like Atlantis um, as a required level, so I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. Yeah, especially with Atlantis, that's almost not... I want to say it's like 90 seconds. It's such a long stage. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, and then obviously that hammer potentially going to come in useful in World 6 when they make it there. Yeah, because I believe 2, 4, and 6 are the only worlds that makes the hammer useful. Yeah, basically. Yep. Um, as far as I can remember, I, I think you're... Yep, that should be the only three. Yeah, and there's that waiting. You gotta wait for that beetle to spawn for Mitch on his side. Well, I guess world three, but you need two hammers, so it's not really a consideration uh, yeah. at this point. Although, let me tell you, a lot of time that double hammer in world three comes in clutch, if you got it. Yeah, like we were talking last seed, uh, the, we, they had to play four stages before they found the pipe, and if they were able to use it then... That will lead them right to the pipe. Yeah, exactly. Getting a lot of fire, uh, fire chains there in that level. Let's see if he opts for the item here. Um, yeah, his inventory is kind of sparse, so I don't blame him for this. Yeah, I was gonna say after losing the cloud and the hammer, that's definitely something you want to do. Yeah, and I think they're both still looking for uh, quick kill inventory. Oh, I guess he's got a hammer suit. That must have been from the last world. I missed yeah, they it. got the, the anchor, so the anchor is the wild card. It can be anything. Potential frog suit. Yeah, absolutely. That's definitely the item you want from the uh, anchor. Yeah, it's worth noting that, you know, this world one was quite evil, so the seed not uh, giving him, you know, as easy of a time this time around. Yeah, let's see if Boob will go. Nope, Boob is going to go straight ahead and forget the item. So if that anchor is a cloud, they're a little closer, but there's quite a few items it could be. And a Tanuki. And a good good stage for a Tanuki. So, I mean, you know, value. And he's going to go, and so he's going to get both 1-3 and the World 1 
for it here, so get both items from them that were originally the whistles. Probably not the item he is looking for, but I mean, that can come in handy in a, a later fort, because we haven't seen Fort Knox yet, so anytime that's in the pool, you know, you're probably going to end up burning that on the fort at some point. Mm -hmm. And there's another cloud from the Hammer Bros there, so... Get the World 6 air airship here for uh, Mitch. Yeah, that clip's so hard to do with a tail, you almost never get it. The booba did cloud, it looks like. So they're less than half a stage apart from each other now. Yeah, it made sense. He had the uh, additional cloud inventory, so um, definitely worth using there, I think, as a guaranteed use, especially when you're clouding a fort, although he doesn't know, but that was a pretty easy fort. Yeah, so he won't have the P-Wing, but I don't think the P-Wing's going to play as big of a part as a cloud or a hammer will. Yeah, I agree. So, so yeah, uh, less than half a stage here, um, separating these two. So everybody, uh, make sure to type command in chat. <laughs> As a wild tanuki appears. So yeah, we'll see where this, if potentially this is, okay. So... It's a free pipe check. We'll see where that other pipe comes out. Um, that could be a very clutch hammer usage here, coming out from Booba. Yeah, you don't even see it. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, oh, that's gotta inventory. be a useful pipe. Oh, we got 7F2 here. We knew that this, this stage was coming. It's gonna rear its ugly head eventually. I couldn't... Did we see a second lock? Because if we see a second lock, it, it seems like there's not going to be a, a fort required, actually, in this world. Uh, we did not. Okay. We did not. So we get a lot of information here. Because this is going to take him to the end, I think. Yeah. There's a second um, lock, yep. So this is huge. Uh, Booba just took a pretty significant lead here. Uh, Mitch is going to have to play most of this world now. Um, that or he's going to have to rely on the RNG of the Hammer Bros. Yeah, that's true. If he does get a hammer here, it'll be quite clutch. So yeah, Mitch is basically hoping he doesn't have a hammer, which unfortunately did, and also that, you know, some forts are, or at least one fort's required, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah, we, and we know the, there's two locks and the bridge that leads them to 6-6, six, six, so we know that the, basically the fort's open. The castle's ready to go, so. No, no, Mustard, we know, because we see two locks and there's a bridge. That needs to be built, so it's a free pass to the end. So Booba now in the World 3 airship, so that's kind of nice. We'll get to fight uh, Lemmy on some normal ground here. Oh, Falling the bowl of Bill. <laughs> and both of them getting marathons there after that level. Oh, an easy Lemmy. Let's get those commands out again. Yeah, this this is a really significant lead, but obviously, um, you know, World 8 can definitely come into play. Um, you know, Booba's got to keep it steady from this point. You know, he's he's got to make sm the smart routing decisions. And Mitch going to guarantee those two cloud usages, which is very smart. So he just enters that pipe to ensure if he dies, uh, he just goes back to the pipe. And he has the right item for this, so he actually caught up a really significant amount of time there, but I believe Booba still has a cloud. Yeah, Booba still has his cloud, and Mitch burned two to make sure that he can catch up, so. Nice jump there by Booba. That's not easy <laughs> to get. The wall jump! 
Um, so yeah, he hit that wall jump. That's a single frame input he got there. Um, and he also had the right sub pixel, which is hard to get with Big Mario. So it's nice swag coming out from Booba that also saves a pretty significant portion of time in that level. I love so yeah, it seems jumps. like everything's... Oh, dude, the wall jumps are amazing. They're my favorite. I, Yeah, a anybody that does a wall jump, you know, deserves credit in my book. Yeah, it seems like everything's kind of going his way in this seed. Um... And he, he hasn't made any, you know, mistakes since... I, I think he took that early death, but um, he's been pretty steady. Yeah, that was just that one death, and Mitch has gambled a few times, and it's kind of backfired on him, so... Booba's yeah, unfortunately, that out. hammer usage, you know, only skipped the one level, right? Yeah. Booba thought about using a cloud there, but I think he's saving it for another scenario. Yeah, I think it's pretty smart to just keep one if you haven't seen Atlantis yet. Just if it's required, man, you just don't want to play that level, you know? Yeah, Booba got the... He's going to take the other route. He's not going to play the fort. Just play these two stages with the Hammer Bros and the Coin Chip. Smart, you get two items out of it and you don't risk finding any other... Uh crazy stages yeah and at this point considering the forward side are left this is almost certainly faster especially since he's got a fire flower so so he's got two yeah stages. let's see yeah two stages either way right because he could come out the uh the tower and be at the end of the world, but he's got to play two to get there anyway. Yeah, I was looking at the map thinking the same thing, like maybe he plays a stage, can take the tower, but it looks like it's going to be two stages regardless. Yeah, although it's worth noting he would have skipped a hammer, bro, but technically you're playing like three stages because the, the tower is just so long. Exactly. Oh, wait, no, is it the tower at the end of the world? Then he did not have to. Eh. Yeah, no, he doesn't have to play that one. Okay, so, I mean, if Mitch notices that, Mitch potentially could skip a hammer, bro, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's right, Booba's got the cloud anyway, so. So keep in mind, World 5 was World 5 again, and we got the World 5 airship. So, quite a bit of Fred's there. It doesn't get Freddier than that. <laughs> Roy's Earthquake and two hits. You know, we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen World 7, and we also haven't seen World 3. The two best worlds. Oh, yes. The best worlds out there. Yeah, it is worth noting that that was Booba's last cloud. Um, I think it's worth using there because you're not always guaranteed to be able to use it in seven or three. So yeah, depending. Um, on I think it's pretty good use. Yeah, the pipe yeah, locations absolutely. there play a huge part, especially with here with World Seven. He gets to do a little recon before Mitch shows up. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, I guess, at least in the beginning here, where he's got to go. That's that's always the nice result from that, at least. You're like, all right, I know where not to go. And he's doing the right thing. Playing this stage in the World 8 Fort. Um, ooh. And he skipped the right stage. Wow. Everything just kind of broke his way. The seed. There's Atlantis. Yeah, Mitch is going to take the right choice here. So, yeah. Oh, he didn't even have to use his cloud. He could have just taken the pipe. Ah, uh, yeah. I missed that. Nice one. So, second. actually, that was really smart by Mitch. And it's going to keep him in this one. 
So it's still only, a, I think, like two stages between the two of them. Not that much time. Yeah, yeah and like a pipe transition, basically. We'll see which uh, pipe Mitch chooses to take here. I, th I think you're right, too. It was really smart doing that fort because he, you didn't see any locks on the map to that point, so you know there's two. Um, or at least, you know, it could be a lock and a bridge. But yeah, you know there's there's two things going on on that final island, right? Yeah, sometimes the lock's in a weird spot, like it's right outside of a pipe, so you have to go around to the stage, or sometimes it's in front of the castle. It just, you don't know. So when you don't know, you just take what you can. And see, I see Mitch do this a lot. He actually saved the pipe transition there by um, taking the, the later pipe. He probably has a feeling like he might be behind, especially with the way that World 6 shook out, so... Yeah, Booba's choosing not to play that one, but he does have another pipe that could lead behind the lock, so... I don't know. My experience, it's usually that pipe usually goes to a dead end, so um, the one, the <laughs> you're just the better view. off. Yeah. So I think he yeah, is nice go item. Back. So Mitch is going to be able to just run through this part here because he's got the star, so it's going to be pretty nice. So 642 been kind to him both seeds given the uh the leaf at the beginning, huh? Yeah, they have been very nice. Uh Disco Waffles somewhat behaving. Um Mostly it's their execution. They've been playing really well that stage. Um like I said, I sweat bullets when if I try to do that trick and they pull them off flawlessly. Yeah, absolutely. And he gets to skip that that plant, burning some of that uh Music box inventory. It is true, if you don't use it, you lose it, so... That's true. Yeah. Doesn't have an extra music box, but this is relatively quick, especially with the tail. Yeah, this one's actually faster than the, uh, the other Piranha Plant stage, so... It's a Not by much, though. but it's a second. Yeah, a nice hammer troll, right? Because he doesn't have a second one, so what's he really going to do in World 3? Well, let's find out. Maybe Bowser will be nice and give him a hammer. Who knows? The way that this is true. going. Star is actually not a bad item there um, at all. No, not at all. You can skip all of those uh, torches and nice fire flower, too, to end it. And an easy Ludwig. Yeah, my man Ludwig needs to uh, lift. He's uh, looking a little weak over there. So yeah, making his way to... I believe it should be World 3. This is the last world. Mm -hmm. I don't recall seeing it. So Wendy will be the final boss. So Mitch has two music boxes, so potentially he can skip an extra stage here, um, and he's going to need really anything uh, to go his way that he can get at this. And he gets a cloud, so I mean, not a useless item, that's for sure. No. His steed was definitely heavy in clouds, so... Got in 610 here for Abubo. Um not a difficult stage. There's plenty of power-ups here. The enemy set seems real, rather nice, actually. Every single vanilla runner just scoffed at you when you said not a difficult stage, and they're probably in a, a, fit, a fit of rage right now, just listening to that. See, I don't run vanilla, <laughs> so I think it's a nice stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of an evil vanilla stage, but yeah, you're right. There's there's quite a few power-ups there, and uh, they didn't get a bass, so it's kind of nice. A good use of a cloud there by Booba. Sends him right to the other side of the, that pipe next to him, but not a bad choice. You want to check out every pipe you can get. Yeah, and you know, anytime you can use a free cloud, I, it's pretty warranted, I th I'd say, especially... 
Well, he doesn't know, actually, Atlantis is out of the pool. So even if he draws 5-9, it's actually not too terribly long. No, not at all. Let's just hope no fire chomps show up. <laughs> yeah, right? At least he's got the right item. You know, deal with them. Take them out. So once he gets out of the stage, he does have a fort at the bottom. We don't see any locks or any bridges required, so that's kind of important. He probably might scout ahead to see what's going on and then go back and play it. Man, the Karibo shoe right there, being a jerk. So Wendy is technically free. There's yeah, just two forts. But... you got to figure out which one is the correct one. Let's let's take a wild guess, and uh, it's that pipe that requires the bridge. What do you think? I'm gonna take that guess too. Yeah. Beautiful peace beat stressor by Abuba. It's all a ruse, guys. It's a debate. Don't don't trust World Three. It's definitely that pipe. <laughs> There it is. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And fitting for World 7, we have the World 7 airship. At least it's in World 3's map, so it could be more Fred. Could be. Yeah, these Peace Beat Strats are nice. Um, Booba's really good at these. I... I was getting to the hang of these, but I don't trust them on my side, so... Nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy to actually make it through with the small jumps, and yeah, it looks like you got a fire kill there, huh? So, yeah, really nice. But here we come to the great equalizer, and uh, I'll be interested to see what Mitch does. I. Um, you know, based on the races we've been having, if he thinks he's behind, I think we're going to see him gamble. And honestly, uh, gambling seems to pay off in World 8 for some reason. You yeah. just skip pipes and check the last pipe and go from there. <laughs> Oof, hand stage, start out. Let's see what we got. 2-1. Uh, I would play it. Keep your Fire Flower. It's a quick stage. Um... It's yeah, kind especially of a 50, since he's got to take though. deaths, or or at least take damage three times, right, to, to die, yeah. so it's like, eh. But it is worth noting that if Mitch doesn't play it, that's pretty significant time save on his part. So we got the World 2-4 for the Air Force icon. Let's see. The hot foot. He's trying. Trying to get him. <laughs> he was too you. fast, though. He got that P-speed. That's true. So, yeah. Gets a nice setup there. He's going to be able to speed through the elevator section here without any issue. So, there are four, four forts in World 8. Um... They could be locks, they could be bridges. Generally, you don't need to play all of them, but at the same time, playing them is always a safe way to get through World 8. Yeah, the question is, you know, what does Booba feel like? He, he must feel like he's doing quite well, and I think that's a good assessment. He hasn't really any mistakes, except for maybe some early deaths. So... Yeah. Um, he sees one lock there, so that's good information to have. So, um, although it looks like he's got to break it to go through and make it to that pipe, so he's probably going to check these other ones here. Okay, so there's two locks so, so far. Yeah, yeah, and there's only one, uh, one fort in that other screen that we can see, but the other one's got to be there too, most likely, right? Because, uh... I mean, it could be, it could be on the Bowser's screen as well, but uh, usually it's not. So Mitch does get grabbed by a two-one here, but he's gonna play it as well. Oh, he's not. So 
like he was trying to take some hits up. Oh, probably changed his mind at that point. Oh. He's trying really hard to die. <laughs> and the game just will not let him. Grabs him again, so now he'll be able to die a little faster. I can tell you exactly what he's saying right now. You know what he's saying? <laughs> What's that? He's saying, what a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> You know, in his uh, in one of the races he had against GamerCal, I think a hand grabbed him like twelve times almost. Oh my goodness! And he took That's a game four over times. From him. He's like, I cannot die here. <laughs> So Booba takes down another fort, so that's two forts. It does not do that lock, so it might be a lock off screen that we didn't see. It could be in the dark world. Yeah, it could be this lock right here, and it's not. So Bowser should be free at this point. He just needs to find the pipe, yep. I think. Yeah, I think that's what he's looking for now is the pipe. Um, it might be the one that was behind the lock over by the hand bridge. That's true. So he's yep. got six, six at three. Um, doing some really good peace speed strats here, so he's looking... He's feeling good. He's feeling really good, I can tell by the way he's playing. I kind of get the feeling it's going to be that pipe. It just it's, it seems to work out way, man. I don't understand it, but it just always seems to work out that way. Yeah, it seems... It just, it's just randomizer, man. That's how it works. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, two hands. Oh, back -back. man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Seven one, so, I mean. It's the first time they've had a clip, actually, at all. Yeah. We didn't see seven five, we haven't seen seven nine, seven six, any world seven. <laughs> At least he made it past the one hand, although, man, he's, he's going to be really kicking himself if, uh,. Bowser pipe isn't up here, and it, it there should be a pipe up here, as far as I know. Oh, oh no. I think he forgot the pipe was up there. Yeah, I actually forgot that pipe was there, too. So, yeah, it's the pipe that I kind of figured, so... I think he's lost now. Yeah, I think he realized that he already went into that pipe. That is one thing that Booba has stressed that his World 8 playing is not his forte, so. Yeah, that's the pipe he wants to go in, is this one right here, and he's just gonna have to. Um, so there is a lock on screen still, so it. Oh, yeah, that's right, they clouded that. That's unfortunate. But I mean, it's, it's hard to blame him for going for that. I think it was worth going for it. He just got unlucky, right? I, yeah, I think we both would have done that. We both would have played that, or used the p cloud there, hoping for the correct pipe. Well, now he knows so, yeah, where the pipe is. They're both going to have to play this one, because the stages are after this, so... I mean... Hmm. Yeah, makes yeah he doesn't know this, but he's going to have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> So the booba's gonna know um, if this is the forward at level because he'll see the lock break. If it's not, otherwise, if it breaks off screen, he knows he's got a free route uh, to Bowser's castle. Yeah. So this is technically his fourth uh, fort. So that's it. Almost a full clear of world eight. And I, I guarantee Mitch is gonna. He's still got checked the left, and there's two hands over there and stuff. So. And he, yeah, that's he's home free. He knows um, it's really his race to lose at this point. Assuming he remembers which pipe is which, and did he make it across? Yeah, he made it across those two hands. Looks like he forgot as well, because I think he did eventually check that pipe. <laughs> and then there's eight two, so Booba is in go mode. Nice yeah, clip in, there. Ooh, 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 ooh. The be interested to see what they say about this world aid. I, I have a feeling they're both going to have some words about it. Yeah, that is, that is a 
fun clip if he can pull it off. Gotta give props to Booba for doing that. Yeah, absolutely. And hands are sweaty right now. I'm sure he's like, all right, just spring it home. Spring it home. Yeah. And he's home safe now. He knows how to do this. He's good. And there we are. Booba's going to take race two. So, you know, as we were saying earlier, we're going to get to see a third race. I hope all the quarterfinals are third races. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, I love third races, man. There, it's it's on edge. You gotta give GG to Booba. Does finish with an SRL time of thirty five twenty three. Fantastic race by him. Yeah, absolutely fantastic play there um, from him, bouncing back from that first seed. Um, he's played quite well here, and honestly, you know that hammer that he was able to use really. Mitch didn't have enough to overcome that, really. And after he took the death with the cloud and all that stuff that happened too, unfortunately, um, there's nothing he could do. And he's going to go for the uh, the swag castle clip here. It just does save time. He did it third try, so... I don't know if it saves time at this point. I think he... he well, in randomizer, it definitely saves time because you can't just sp speed up the stairs, so... Um, that does actually, that is going to save him a little bit of time. Gotta hope for the right enemy set. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, they're roughly about a minute and a half between each race, so this these are really close races here. Yeah, Mitch finishing with an official SRL time of 36.41. So yeah, pretty much the exact same separation there. Honestly, you did a great job keeping that one close, considering the early mishaps and the the advantage that Booba built with the items. Yeah, he took advantage there, especially in World 5, seeing Atlantis. He took the death, and he's like, wait, the pipe's right there. I could just skip it. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so that that's a good point. That cloud advantage Booba had over him, the one cloud advantage actually didn't matter because Booba ended up clouding that. Although he saved himself a pipe transition. It's not like he didn't save anything, I guess. Yeah, I think the only thing that they had there was uh, their issue was World 8 for getting that pipe. Um, and then the, the cloud usage because they forgot the pipe. Otherwise, they may have not have even used it. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he, and what they both had clouds in World Eight, and they used it, and then they ended up not uh, paying off. Although it gave them information at the end of the day, I guess. 